Hi, this is Hector, and today we're going to talk about the Crop Tool in Procreate. Now, the Crop Tool is fairly easy to use. It's, you know, about the only hard thing about using the Crop Tool is that um, it's where to find it. You know, it's up here. See where the wrench icon is? Tap that once. Boom. And you have to go to Canvas. Tap there. And it's Crop and Resize. So tap there. So crop and resize, they're two different things, but for right now we're gonna talk about cropping. Now there's two ways of doing this. One is we can slide the handles, and we could do it freehand like this, where the image could dictate the crop, so something like that. Tap done, and it'll do it. The other way is by locking the aspect ratio. So if it's a square, it's always a square. So let's go to settings. Tap there one time and then tap on that icon right there. That's a link. So it's gonna link these two measurements together so that, tap, so that now that once we move it, whether it's a small crop or a fairly large crop, a square is a square and it'll always be a square because we locked it. This is one trick you just gotta know because this is gonna save you. Have you ever found yourself that you just needed just a few more layers? Well, let me show you. I'm gonna tap on reset, but keep your eye right there. It's gonna be, boom, 112 layers available. But we need, well, let's just say 10 more layers, 122. Check it out. All we gotta do is just slide this down and you see the layers that are becoming available to you. 122. So that's how much we need to crop. But you might be thinking, geez, you know, that's a little lopsided. Well, it's okay because with Procreate, you can adjust your crop to, uh, let's say, something like that. So it's a little bit more even. So all you got to do is just crop that much and you get yourself 10 extra layers. What if your crop needed to be specific? Well, you can do it by using a number pad. Let's go to settings. And this time, tap on any one of the eights. Let's go there. So this is our number pad. Now, since I live in the inches world, I have it on inches. But you can do it in pixels, centimeters, millimeters, all that. But for me, I'm doing inches. So I'm going to go ahead and just tap on seven. And once you tap done, it doesn't mean that it cropped it. All it means is that the numbers have been accepted. Boom, there you go. And if I tap one more time, tap there, everything goes away. So now we can go ahead and adjust to the crop. So something like that, and maybe just make it just a little bit more larger, like that. Okay, all right, so that looks good. So now we wanna resize. So let's go to settings, tap there. And now we're gonna do resample canvas. We're just gonna to toggle that. Boom, there you go. And we wanna make this just one inch larger. So all we have to do is just tap here. There we go. And I'm gonna tap on nine. So nine by nine, done, this goes away. And then now basically tap there. That dialog box goes away. And once we hit done, like this, it's starting to resize. Now you can't go too big because if you do the outlines, they start getting a little fuzzy. So we just went uh, maybe an inch larger and I'm gonna go to my brush. I have a syrup brush and I'm just gonna make one line this way. And as you can see that this line is sharper than that line. Sometimes that change isn't noticeable. But for some folks, oh man, they just can't stand it. <laughs> so just be careful when you use the resampling tool. Now, what if you just wanted to make the canvas larger because yeah, you want to print it out and you want to put it behind a mat? This is how you do it. I just slide it over this way, like that. And I'll just kind of move it like that. And done. And all it's doing is just making the canvas larger, but it's not taken away from the quality. As you can see, the line that I put in is still nice and crisp. 
a couple things we can take away is that cropping, it doesn't add or remove pixels from an image, so the quality is never compromised. And resizing, well, you know, use it just a little bit because if you want to resize it by a lot, it'll be noticeable. But the cool thing is you can resample and make the canvas larger in case you want to print it out, put it back of a mat. And the other one is that if you want to crop and you just, just buy a hair, you could get yourself an extra few layers that you might need. Anyway, I hope you like this. And if you do, please like. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks for hanging out. Gotta go.